Well, Hernandez has got to be happy with that one. Oh, oh my goodness. Huge head kick for Fluffy Hernandez. That's one of the cleanest performances that we have seen in a long time. Yeah. I mean, that was, he showed everything. Yeah. Elbows, knees, striking, cage control, grappling, dumped somebody on their head. Nothing can break me but myself. And that much I know. Anthony Fluffy Hernandez. If I didn't come here for money, I didn't come here for fame. I came here because I want to be the best in the world. This is where the best girls in the world are. So, ladies, enjoy it while you can. Because the queen is home. Because she's coming for that ball. Kayla Harrison. That's on video. I've never been happier. I made for a fucking podcast. <laughs> That's dangerous. <laughs> Listen to me, we're out of here. Now, what do you think is going to happen next? Do you know what, what? What do you see happening next? What fight do you see next? Better be the fucking title. Yeah, right? I agree. Hey, talk about a shit, a lost opportunity there. They got you, you won your fight that night, you know? Uh, Juliana won the title. They do a split screen. Yeah. And she's going out Amanda Nunes. And yeah. I understand there might be some bad blood there, but the, the lady, the girl's retired. Yeah. Uh, it just seemed like a, a wasted opportunity for a, obviously the next in line, you know? Yeah, these I mean, women don't really make sense to me. Like, <laughs> after I fought Holly, Amanda got online saying like, oh, you're not saying my name now. And I was like, well, lady, you're fucking retired. And then Juliana fights. And instead of calling me out, she calls out Amanda, who's retired. And like they all just say they just don't make sense. Like first she was like, Juliana, like rubs me the wrong way. And she says a lot of good things. She's she's entertaining. She's tough as nails. I respect her as a fighter, but it's like. First, she talked shit about me when I was in the PFL and said, like, oh, if you come to the real promotion, fight at a real weight class, if you can make 135, then we'll talk. And so here we are a couple of years later. Right. Put my money where my mouth is. I make 135. Then she's like, oh, she's on steroids and she's this. And I'm like, OK, then it's like, oh, well, I'm going to, you know, she's going to call out Amanda. And next thing you know, she's going to be calling out Rhonda. And then she did call out Rhonda on Ariel's podcast. She's like, I'd fight Rhonda Rousey. I'm like, dude, she says that I think I'm a, a boogeyman, but you're the only one who won't say my name. Like, I, I bleed just the same as you. Like, let's get in the cage and find out, you know, let's find out. Yeah. I mean, you know, Rhonda's done. I, I don't think Amanda would come back. Um, I mean, maybe. I don't know how bad Amanda won that last fight. So yeah, it's almost Kayla, like she, Kayla she won it now, man. She's here now. Yeah, of She's course. I mean, also, like Amanda would have to be in the drug testing pool for six months before That's she right. could compete. So it's like, dude, you're going to, so then it's getting, we're going to have to wait six months. Then Juliana's going to fight Amanda. Then we're going to like, I'm just like, yeah. no, like let's, let's, let's us do it. Okay. And yeah. then, then you can call out Amanda or then you can, you know, like you're just going to be back at the bottom of the pole, totem pole anyway. So or Amanda could enter the pool and then take the winner of your fight. You know, yeah. an automatic yeah. shot at the belt. World, in my perfect world, Juliana and I fight for the title. I, I whoop her ass real quick. Amanda's already in the testing pool. Whatever. However many months she's trained like Amanda, start training now. Get ready, honey. And then I fight Amanda. I become the greatest of all time. I do whatever the fuck I want. What did you think about, uh, what did you think about Pena Pennington? Uh, the split decision. Um, I, I thought Raquel won the fight. Um, yeah. But again, like Matt said, sometimes when it's close, I, I didn't think it was as close as the judges did. What did you think? Well, I missed the first round and I haven't gone back and watched it okay. yet. Um, but the rounds I saw, I thought Raquel won the fight. And I went on... Um, there's this site that does like um, fight scores and every single reporter had it for Raquel. And I've never seen that before. Like normally there's a couple that sure disagree, but this was like all Raquel. So I feel bad for her. Like that's the kind of thing where it's like, it's just, it's an unspoken rule. Like you don't, 
you don't steal the title. You have to go like earn the title, you know? Yeah. You sh- to, to take the belt, it shouldn't be just edging out. Like you have to you clearly yeah, you beat the champion. Lie, like, yeah. In my opinion. I think you're right. Now, now stylistically, is there uh, like, I don't want to say a preference because then the other person, I think you, you don't want to fight them, but you know, you'd think Raquel would want to sprawl and brawl, but Pena, you know, her thing, she sets up the, she uses a strike to set up her, her takedown. So stylistically, I mean, it just looks like a very rough fight for her. I mean, is that, yeah. why you, I mean, I agree. I mean, I'm a rough fight for everyone, you know, like, she, everyone's yeah. like, oh, she's not well rounded. Oh, she's this, oh, blah, blah. I'm like, okay, well, then stop it, you know? So yeah. far, I have only lost one time. So out of 13 rounds with one girl, I lost three and like, so stop it. I think I'm, I think I'm a nightmare matchup for everybody. Hmm. I have more experience now than I ever had before. Instead of fighting girls who are cutting down from 180 to 155, I'm the bigger, stronger, faster girl in the division. And I have the fight IQ. I'm experienced. I have the best team in the world behind me. Like, and I have the confidence. Like I believe in myself. I believe that I'm the best in the world. You got elbows now. And I got elbows now. <laughs> Happy about the elbows. I, that's it. the one thing I noticed when you first got into UFC. I'm like, oh, shit, man. I haven't yeah. seen that before. That was, a, that was yeah. great. And I saw I'm, excited. I I'm excited to cut open Juliana. Like, for sure, that's going to. That's gonna. <clears throat> you really want to cut her open. Right on the forehead. Well, Kayla, look, I mean, uh, I think you're going to get the title shot next. I don't see Amanda coming back, like you said, at least not within six months. So, I mean, uh, you against uh, Pena will probably be the matchup uh, soon. So I can't wait for it. And uh, congrats on looking so good so far. And, um, you know, you, you, you've blown everybody away by how well you're doing. Thank you so much. Hey, hey, Kayla, don't, don't touch your nose. Leave your nose alone. <laughs> Thank you. I'm, I'm letting you know, please. please. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> hey, listen, Kayla, when you do find out that you got that shot or whatever, come back on, please. Uh, anytime. You guys are the best. Anytime. All right. Talk to you soon, right. Kayla. Thanks so I'm much. Not long ago, I said hi, and I believe Oh, I definitely you. will. He'll get so excited. Watch <laughs> out for that creep in your DMs. Okay. <laughs> All Bye. right, guys. Take care. Bye, Bye Kayla. Kayla.